Okay, so my philosophy of the use of media in the classroom is really based on my own experiences as an artist. I want to teach English language arts in the middle school and I know that kids at that age range find it monotonous and just a course they have to take to make it on their way. And I believe that media is the way we can change that. I think that if we use it in a way that was personalized, um, knowing our students, knowing which students are very musically inclined or what students are writers or what students are very artistic um, in terms of multimedia displays, graphic art, um, and tailoring our lessons to those and the use of that in order for them to be immersed in the culture and the literature that they're reading, um, I think that it would definitely make it more circular in terms of connecting the dots for the other subjects. I think about, you know, in some ways, media can be a great thing, um, but, you know, in terms of not all students express themselves the same way. And I think that's why it's so important to tailor that. An example I could give is my son, who um, is a rising freshman in high school this year. His seventh grade math teacher wanted them to do this thing called Choose Sides, where they had to illustrate a mathematical concept using um, art, um, drawing, um, mostly drawing. They really didn't have a lot of opportunity to use any other way. Writing was not considered artistic enough. And my son, who is normally very um, academically gifted in mathematics and science, struggled not with the actual math portion, but with the art portion, because that wasn't who he was. Um, he learned a different way. And so that really discouraged him. And I think if we're not careful, that can happen across the board. If we try to implement media usage, whether it's as an assignment or whether it's a way for us to illustrate to the student how to best understand, um, you know, in English language arts, um, I think one way is that we have always asked students to write skits based on their experiences with the literature. Not everyone's a playwright. Um, so maybe we need to look at having them video it, make a short film, make a documentary, um, have them illustrate it, do an illustrated book. Um, you know, if they're more of a literal minded or scientifically minded child, maybe they need to look in those directions to see how they could best utilize their strengths. Media is a great thing. It's a way for students to express themselves and it's a way for teachers and instructors to get across ideas that sometimes are a little more intangible, especially at that sixth through eighth grade age range. But it can be disastrous if it's used incorrectly. Um, it can discourage a student. It can make them give up. And we don't want that to happen. So I think the usage of media has to be tailored um, if it is given as an assignment. Um, I think if you're using it for instructional purposes, then you probably need to make sure that everyone is going to grasp what they're seeing. Um, whether it be reading the play, acting it out, um, watching a film of it, um, listening to other people discuss it, whatever that usage is, making sure that it's going to translate across the board to all of your students.